and welcome back. This is Balluscuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. We are in the southeastern corner of the map here on a little crescent island. I am joined as always by my faithful squad of Bart, Raina, Galif, and Ferris. When we last left off, we had done some uh, backtracking back in walls. Now we are in, well, another location. We are in, as you saw, the southeastern portion of the map. This is a little crescent island. You can just get here using the ship. It's pretty pretty basic, pretty straightforward how to get here. And here we have made it to Crescent Town, and here comes another quake. What? What is going on? Oh, how'd you know that a quake was coming? The ship! Uh-oh. No. No, no, no! Not my ship! Which is somehow trying to leave. It's getting caught in a whirlpool, it looks like. No! Down goes the fire ship. That is, that is no good. No good at all. What am I going to do without my fire ship? I'm stranded. That is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. But what do you have to say about this, dude? Dude? You have a lot of earthquakes on this island. Every time one comes, a whirlpool appears. Was your ship swallowed up in a whirlpool? Ha! <laughs> That's too bad. I don't really care. Douche. Uh, now, there are a few things that I can do in this town. It's kind of a weird town in the middle of the forest. Let's head down here first, and we can head into the minstrel's house. And here, we find a guy who says, I must be tired from my journey. Here's a song for you. Sing it in battle to increase your strength. And we've learned a song. Hooray. Just what I always wanted. A buff. Either way, let's go over here and play the, the organ. I'm going to go with an organ. Could be a piano, though. How are we doing, Bards? How are you doing at this? I only counted... Uh-oh. Damn, that was a quick improvement. I'm getting better all the time, and that should be our fourth uh, piano organ uh, that we have used. And you saw, he's definitely getting better. Finally, it took him forever. He, uh, there were like 20 mistakes in the first part, but he's starting to get better. What is up, old lady? This island spooky. Things grow all on their own, and even though it hardly ever rains, there's never any drought. That doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good. Thanks to the good soil on this island. Okay, oh, okay, they have good soil. Good for you. Good for you. No, almost no rainfalls. It keeps bubbling up. You have, what, like an underground aquifer or something? Stop right away and talk to me. Sometimes you can hear strange sounds from underground. It gives me the creeps. Surely that's, that's not relevant at all. Magic shop should be my first stop here. Try to catch a black chocobo in the forest. Uh, <laughs> you got outsmarted by a giant bird. Just don't like monsters. Can't stand gold hairpins. Yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. Let's head into the magic shop. Hopefully he does have some new magic for me. I'm always in search of new magic. I I think I have all of these. You, you really not have anything new, man? I have it. Yeah, I have all these. Do I have poison? I do. So then you are useless to me. Let me get out of your face. Because there is nothing here for me. Let's just move on over to the uh, armor and the weapon shop. I probably want to go to the weapon shop first. Do you have anything in here that I would like? A bow. Huh. And a harp. A bow and a harp. What could we use that for? I don't, nobody can use that. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, game, but I don't have anybody that can equip any of that. So I'm just going to avoid it for now. Do you have anything that I want in the armor shop? Plumed hat, which nobody can wear. Oh, the plumed hat, they... Everybody can wear, what am I talking about? And a poet robe. I'm going to hold off on these things because they are... Uh, 
ridiculously cheap and it kind of makes me a little nervous makes me think they're not good so i'll hold off on those very strange things that they have going on in this town i must say i must say but i do believe that i need to heal at the inn after i finish talking to all these people hanging out inside tell us about the ruins they're on the western continent it's strange but the artifacts discovered there are the same as ours pangea i knew it what about the chocobo? Once you mounted one, you can only dismount in a forest. But they're all extinct now. Didn't I already catch one? I swear I already caught one. And used it. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. I do not believe there are really ever any item upgrades in this game in terms of what you can buy at the shop. I think it's just always the same. And it always appears to be the same. So, I need to rest. I'll buy whatever items I need. And I will meet you back when that is done. All rested. Ready to leave town. Now, we're pretty much stranded on this island. There's really only one other place that we can go here. And that's south into that little forest that, well, they said were, there were chocobos in there. But there are also new enemies here. We have crescents and dub blizzards. Um, sure, dub blizzards, why not? Do you have anything that might be good here? A uh, moon flute? No, no. Can I cast arrow two on everybody? I can! Very nice! Is that gonna be good? That's not good for anything. Kick then! Kick -a! And down goes nobody. Hooray! Let's show off Chocobo. We can only use that on one enemy at a time. That's no good. Everything else is expensive. Fine. Chocobo, take out the crescent. Go, Choco Kick! Another kick. -a. And down he finally goes. It took him long enough. Took him long enough. Sickle! Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage that these guys are doing. But rain encounters! Go! Ah. Freaking cat dog lizard in the back there. How the hell? What happens to the food when he eats it? I don't. I don't think I want to know. Don't answer that. I don't. I don't want to know. Doesn't it come out like an armpit or something? Can I fight him from here for the, for the victory? Twenty six damage. Down he goes. Uh, yes, you have five hundred seven gil, two hundred fifteen experience, and an ability point. And Ferris has gained a job level. Received blue. Now we can use the blue magic outside of uh, being a blue mage, which is nice. Uh, but I'm, I'm going... Actually, I think it is time to, to change Ferris. Uh, well, change the job class. Yeah, 250 points to the next job level. I think it's time to change. Uh, we're going to change uh, Ferris back to the black mage, I believe, uh, so that we can start trying to get uh, the next level of uh, the black magic going. Of course, going to keep the learning on so that we can try to keep uh, learning blue magics as we go along. Now, we can head in here where the black chocobos are hanging out in the black chocobo forest. What's that? A chocobo? Tis no chocobo. I'll get it. Huh. Where do you go? Where do you go? He's, he's up here. Hey. It's a black chocobo, but I thought they were extinct. Didn't I already get one? No, that's a different game. Now, now fly, go on. I got a dragon now. Definitely got a dragon. What? Why'd the music slow down so much? What the hell, Black Chocobo? Why, why didn't she carry me? No go. Wait, what's this? Don't hit my Chocobo. Wait, that's a crystal shard. Hey, you had two of them in there? Don't be eating my crystal shards, you dumb bird! Must have been blown here from the explosion in Karnak! What? No wonder he couldn't fly! And we get two new crystal shards! We get the bard and the hunter! Which is what they were selling equipment for back in town. We already have a song. A little dirty, but now he'll be able to fly! <laughs> That's kind of gross. That's that's kind of gross. Are you, 
Wow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take the chocobo and uh, we can fly over the mountains. We're going to follow the the chain of islands here to the west. Uh, they kind of remind me of the Aleutian Islands up in Alaska. They're, they're, they just kind of go south and west and then eventually start heading north again. Uh, now, there is a specific island here that I am looking for. If I can find it. I thought it was further south than here. But apparently I was wrong. That... Actually, is that the cave? Yes, it is, because there's the town, so we need to land on this giant spot over here. Black Chocobos, just like in previous Final Fantasy games, can only land in the forest. I was thinking of Final Fantasy IV when we last had a Black Chocobo. We have not had one in this game just yet. We have had dragons and regular Chocobos, but not a Black Chocobo. Do we have new enemies now that we're on this side of the world? We do! We have bombs! A classic enemy! Classic indeed. Now, this... This never really made sense to me, but we'll try it again. Go Fire 2. Is this going to be super effective on the bombs? It is! Once again, why? Why is it super effective on the bombs? You would think that fire would be helping him, but no. Fire damages him. Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. But he dies regardless. We get 324 gil, 150 experience, and one ability point. Hooray! And we're ready to move on some more. Because, as you saw, there was a cave here. A cave that I would like to go into. Jack Ole Cave. I, the switch did nothing. There, there we go. There's a switch that does something. And we're locked in. Do we have any more new enemies? I'm always in search of new enemies. We do! It's a Skull Eater Squirrel! Holy crap, it killed Gallop. Oh, uh, whoa. Freaking squirrels, man. Squirrels are no joke. Go, Phoenix, down. Um, can I put him to sleep? That would be greatly appreciated. No, I cannot. Can I punch him in the face? No, because he ran away. Okay, we get five ability points for letting the squirrel run away from us. What the hell? That squirrel scares me. I do need to heal after that, though. 